Hey everyone, this is SamFan and welcome to the 2K Lab channel. Today we're going to take a look at one of the best finishing and shooting badges of NBA 2K22. So in this video, we'll be taking a deep dive at the Dream Shake badge. Now by 2K's definition, this badge is supposed to help raise your chances that a defender bites when you're doing fakes in the post. In game though, this badge does way more than that for you. What it does is that Dream Shake improves your chance to stun the defender as you do fakes, but after you stun the defender, it also gives you a shot make percentage boost. So you can see here, it triggered twice, once for the stun chance boost and the second time for the make percentage boost after the stun. And in this Dream Shake badge test, we'll be using a 6 foot 4 guard with the badge and also a 7 foot pick with the badge and show you the different results we get from each so we can address the defensive matchup variable. And if you would like to see which post move triggers and what animations you need to get the most out of the Dream Shake badge, just get this video to uh, 2000 likes and I will cook up that full detail breakdown for you guys. So let's get into the detail numbers of the badge. So here you can see uh, those are the attribute break points you need to get each tier of Dream Shake. And for the first test, we'll be using a 6 foot 4 guard with 80 mid range, which is going to give you 80 post fade, versus a 6 foot defender with 25 interior defense, so your lock and point guard kind of matchup. And here you can see uh, with no badge and 25 post control, you're going to get 0% stun chance because you don't have the Dream Shake badge. And because of that, you're not going to get the make percentage boost that comes after the stun. But if you get all the way to Hall of Fame though with 74 post control, the stun chance is 96%. Yes, 96. And for every stun you get, if you shoot it right afterwards out of the post move or the fake, you're going to get a make percentage boost also. So you can see here with my guard versus the opposing defender, I can just stun him, shoot the fade, and it's green a lot of the time. Now, if you have it on bronze with 47 post control, the stun chance is still pretty high at 80%. So it's a huge jump from no badge, right? Because if you stun, then you get the boost once you shoot out of it. So bronze is pretty good there. But doing the wrong post move though, can ruin your make percentage. So this is very intricate. If you stun, you can only do a certain move depending on what animations you have to get the most out of it. Now at silver with 58 post control, the stun chance is at 90%. So this is very high versus a shorter defender that has a 25 interior. So if you have that mismatch, silver is deadly. Gold with 66 Post control will give you a 93.33% chance to stun. So that's also going to give you a mixed percentage after if you shoot out of the stun. And you can see time and time again, very easy to green. And another element about Dream Shake that is good for guards, or if you can handle a little bit and you have the batch, if your blow by attempt fails, you can go into post up, stun the guy, and shoot a fade as a backup plan. So for test number two, we'll be using a seven foot big man with 80 mid range. So that ends up being 80 post fade versus a seven foot tall defender with 90 interior defense this time. Now with that setup with a bronze dream shake and 47 post control, the stun chance end up being 64%. So it's much lower than the one you saw with the uh, shorter defender with 25 interior defense. But 64% stun chance at bronze is still not bad. But at silver though, and 58 post control, the stun chance becomes 84. So that's relatively close to when you had a defender that only had 25 interior. So the interior defense kind of hurts bronze, but once you get it to silver, not really. And if you get it to gold and uh, 66 post control, the stun chance is now at 86.6%. So at this range, it's still very high. I mean, you're gonna stun the defender a lot of the time. And if you stun him and you shoot out of the stun, you're gonna get that big percentage boost also. So gold is deadly. Getting it to Hall of Fame, with 74 post control versus 90 interior defense is going to get your stun chance at 92 percent so that's still very high so the interior defense only really affects bronze but once you get it to gold and hall of fame it's still extremely strong so overall here's the chart breakdown you can see in the green line you can see the percentage from the six foot four versus 25 interior defense matchup and with the red line you can see the seven foot matchup with the 90 interior defense and as you can see from both definitely if you want to get this badge, don't get it on bronze. The gold is probably the sweet spot for everything, really. Even if you're facing low interior defense or, or like 90 interior, once you get Dream Shake to gold, the defender is kind of at your mercy. Hall of Fame might be a little bit of an overkill, depending on what you like to do with it. But if you want to stun and shoot fades, gold is definitely the one. And obviously, this badge can have a lot of synergy with other badges. So if you want to see that, uh, just add a like to the video. We can cook up that for you also but definitely try this out it cannot be the main part of your arsenal but having this is going to change a huge part of your game because it's going to give you a go-to in the mid-range and depending on the matchup you get you can really hurt a mismatch because the dream shake batch is extremely op all right 
So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you got any comments, leave it in the comment section and I get the video to 2000 likes and I'll do the full post move trigger and animation breakdown for you. All right, thank you.